what is up y'all hey welcome back to the channel real quick i will go ahead and let you know we have no power we have had trees come down killed power to the big shop killed power inside this shop the whole house so we are still going to push this thing out here to you we have just got the door opened up put the bike on a paint bucket instead of my uh, my airlift here uh, but regardless we're gonna get this thing done uh, we did not get the other parts that we were promised so my videos are gonna be um, I'm going to be doing essentially the parts that I do have. Uh, I was wanting to release as the second video, uh, but it will now be the first one. So we're going to go ahead and get into this thing and break it on down. Uh, real quick, before we figure out what it is, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Uh, you guys are, uh, are showing some absolute mad support here. Uh, you've done great things as far as for this channel and all. Um, doing this stuff for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys really do appreciate it uh, and can take something away from it, good, bad, and different. Um, but without further ado, let's uh, let's get into part one. All right, guys. So for part one on this bad boy, um, we are going to be doing something that is going to be inexpensive. Uh, it's going to be an inexpensive kind of uh, mod here for you guys. Uh, if you don't want to go the full blown route of updating, as far as an entire rear shock um so we're gonna update this thing we have down here we are also going to raise this up so we have got our corona linkage here from hyperlite we also have the adapter and all uh for the, that shackle for the for the shock and then we have our dvr heavy duty rear spring um so this is going to probably be a, a pretty cost effective way as far as I, i'm not looking for much um, I do want to raise this thing up. I am six foot one. Um, so I would like to get a, just a hair more height out of it. Uh, so we are going to do that in this video. Um, I am not going to uh, essentially give you guys a one by one on everything uh, for this bike on what I'm getting ready to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down, show you what tools are needed, what to take apart kind of as I go along so we just don't create an obscenely long video that's probably about an hour and a half long. Uh, so I will go ahead and get this thing spliced up, pieced together and all. I'll let you guys know what you need. And I've got something as well at the very end of this video. Stick with me and I will tell you exactly what it is and it will help you out on a lot of things, not just the suspension. So we'll be right back here and we will get you guys filled in. All right, guys, not to leave you guys hanging, just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick little fast forward. I'll pause in between, just kind of let you guys know what I have did, uh, done here as far as uh, disassembly. So you will want to end up taking, obviously, your plastics off. Um, you don't need to take your seat off. Um, there's a little plastic uh, ring that kind of slides up in here and keeps it secured under here. Uh, you can actually, if you weasel it in at an angle, you can slide it back forward, lock it back in place. But uh, anyway, uh, it's your three eight millimeter bolts two here one over here uh, and then your other side you will actually have to take your number plate off because there is a bolt that is also hidden back behind the number plate as well so there are going to be four on this side um, four here three on the other side all eight millimeter um, after that you are going to want to break your little old electrical box here your fuse panel and all kind of loose uh, mostly because you are going to want to access that nut or that bolt right here and the nut on the other side this one here is a 14 the other on the other side back side is a 17 uh, for the nut uh, same thing for the bottom except for the bottom where we are actually going to be disconnecting it at uh, right here it is uh, 17 here 14 on the other side um, and essentially we are replacing this linkage right here so um, we're going to take pretty much this whole thing out um, with that rear shock and then then take it apart um, but anyway I'll let you guys know what exactly like I said is needed uh, as we get further along my next step is going to be as far as your rear brake um, just to access as far as this bolt to be able to pull it out, you are going to want to take this loose right here. So um, it should just be as far as your uh, eight millimeters um, 
Let's see, I do believe nothing surprising. Nope, just your eights. Uh, there should be a 10 or two, or a 12, I mean. Yeah, there is, there's gonna be your 12 here, uh, just to remove that. And essentially, you can just kinda pull it back, just drop it, uh, drop it out of the way to get that, uh, get that bolt out. But uh, we'll keep you guys posted here and uh, keep on fast forward and getting it.
All right, guys, so we have got everything out here. Um, so, <clears throat> like I said before, as far as your, uh, your, your brake line and all that for your rear brake, um, it is your 12 millimeter bolt here. Uh, just go ahead and take that out. And what you can do is just kind of jimmy it. I actually, I use like a, uh, like a body clip tool just to kind of slip behind there, wedge it out, just get it loose. And then you could actually pull your entire pin out. That's really the only way to get it because your, uh, your brake lever is going to end up hitting your, your motor. But anyway, keep that somewhere safe. Um, anyway, and then other than that, it just drops straight down. Uh, but the reason for that is, of course, because your linkage right here. Ooh, let me try and get a better angle of this bad boy. Bolts up right here, and you cannot get that pin out without your brake at all move. Um, anyway, I will go ahead and tell you guys. Um, I try and keep as far as all my bolts, uh, nuts, and stuff like that exactly where I took them out at. Um, but... Uh, other than that, uh, let's see. Now, as far as your process for getting this uh, spring out and all, I loosen everything up first uh, before I actually, you know, just go popping something off. Uh, break everything loose. You got one here. Um, let's see here. You've got two down here to break loose uh, because one of these is obviously going to go uh, uh, to your, uh, what you call it, to your, uh, your linkage. Um, Anyway, and then the other side, uh, right here for your linkage, that comes out. So you have uh, one for the linkage. Let's see. Two, three, uh, the one on the shock and the bottom, and then the one above. Um, so it really doesn't take that much time. Um, I think it's taken me so far roughly about 30 minutes uh, just to get this thing tore down. Now, what I will say is too, is that when you do have everything loosened up, so I dropped the top of the shock first. Uh, but what I did was I just, of course, I'm not down in my, my big shop, so I'm kind of limited with what I've got, but hey, uh, paint bucket works. Uh, I just put my foot up under the tire um, and then essentially lifted it up with my toe and then it took the pressure off so I could just pull that bolt straight out and it's and I just let the back tire down slowly um, other than that everything else comes right off so we are going to uh, I'm gonna try and get a best view I can with our power being out right now probably do this outside uh, maybe sit at a table or something I don't know we'll figure it out but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and break this spring down and show you guys as far as how to put this uh, spring on your rear shock so we will be right back with you here in just a minute all right guys here is your spring difference here with the uh, bbr and of course your stock one here um, i've got to get this stuff here swapped over but uh and compressed and i'll be right back with you all right guys hey real quick too i did i've got everything compressed here um but what i did forget to mention is to you guys is before you take this shock out um i did do it as well um but i did forget to mention loosen your collars up while it's on the bike otherwise uh you'll probably have a fit with it i mean unless you got like a vice grip something like that i mean you could but it's just way easier just to take a screwdriver or something just like a flathead just a couple taps and then break it loose and then go ahead and drop it out that way you can just compress everything and and take it right off so we'll go ahead and uh we're going to take this bad boy off here and uh, get everything swapped out.
All right, guys, we have got the new spring compressed, ready to slip on here. But before, we need to end up putting this little bottom uh, bottom cleat here, or clevis, whatever you want to call it, onto the bottom of the shock. So in order to do this, you do have a nut. I will actually take this off. Pardon me, I'm doing this with one hand. I did loosen it up already, but I will tell you, when it comes to this, it is extremely tight. Uh, your best friend is gonna be this bad boy right here. Anyway, get you one of those. Uh, just heat it up if it is too tight. Um, anyway, I just used vice grip, screwdriver. It came right off after I heated it up for just a couple seconds too. Just rotate it in your hand here, a couple seconds, maybe uh, you know, probably about 10 seconds or so, just twisting it around and all heating it up, and it does come right off. So after that, all you got to do is just unscrew it, screw your new one on, and then pop the nut, tighten it back down. That's it. So we will see you guys here in just a second. Let me get this thing all put together. All right, guys, we've got our rear shock here. We got it back up here, just the top here. Um, pretty self-explanatory as far as sliding it back up in, popping that, uh, popping that bolt back in here. Now, another big thing, though, is when you go to put your actual linkage on. Obviously, it's gonna go this way. They do have the bearings and all inside, but inside your original one, you will see you need this sleeve right here. Try not to touch it too much. It is pretty greased up, so I'm not greasing this thing back up. Anyway, there you go. Slides in there just like that. Now, depending on how you want your settings, as far as low, high, they do come with another one that says standard on it. Um, that essentially the hole is just right there in the middle. But me, obviously, I want a little bit more height out of this thing, so we're gonna see what we can get. So we're gonna put it on high.
All right, guys, here we have it. <clears throat> so we have got the shock back mounted in. So start with the top first, let it hang. As soon as you get that done, go ahead, mount up your the first section here of your linkage. Don't forget to pull that little cylinder out of here as far as where those bearings are when you put that bad boy back in. Uh, just let this hang down. And then if you've got you know your jack, all my stuff's down there in the shop. We just got our power back on a few minutes ago, so kind of sucks I didn't have any of that stuff. But uh, anyway, just jack the wheel up just a hair. Go ahead, mount your shock uh, as far as the bottom of it. And then once you're done with that, you can also continue to manipulate your wheel up and down and go ahead and get the uh, bottom bolt for your linkage uh, put in. And that is essentially it, y'all. Uh, I am gonna go ahead, get this thing uh, put all back together. Now, as far as what I was going to tell you here at the end, um, I'm gonna go ahead, let me assemble this real quick. Let me get everything torqued down. Um, but I am going to also pin up on my community section. If you go to the channel, please subscribe. Also check the community section, guys. I will put all of the torque specs for everything on this bike. I will have the torque specs for whether it be your front wheel, your rear, uh, it doesn't matter if it's your front forks, whatever, anything as far as pertaining to this bike for your torque specs per the manual. I have uh, the images and all that I will post there in the community section. So um, go ahead run over there you can find everything you need as far as the torque specs for this bike um, but i'm going to get this thing put all together i'm going to get it off the bucket uh, and then we will fill you guys in for what is next as soon as i get this last part all right guys here we are there you have it we have got everything put on torqued up We've got her raised up i am not going to take it off the bucket yet uh that will be for a later time um but I will go ahead and tell you, as far as the tools you guys will need, we will go ahead and break that down real quick. All right, guys. So your tools you guys are gonna need. You are definitely gonna need a spring compressor, number one. Um, like I said, <clears throat> I use the, uh, the Tusk uh, little spring compressors. Hey, they do perfect, uh, no problems. Um, but I mean, there's some, you, you can also, I mean, if, if you wanna try and uh, zip time, you can. Hey, uh, that's no problem too. I know some people crank them down with that. Um, but you are going to need a 12 millimeter for your brake. Uh, take that thing off. Obviously you're gonna need your eight for your plastics. Uh, you're also gonna need a uh, 10 millimeter as well for your fuse box, uh, pretty much your whole panel there to take that out. Uh, then as far as all your suspension components, it is going to be a 17 and a 14. That is what that is gonna take for everything. Um, and then, like I said, your torque specs and all that stuff, guys, Hey, go hit up that community page. I will have that dropped over there for you guys. Uh, it's going to probably be about like four or five files, maybe, um, well photos here. Just, uh, just take a screenshot, whatever you got to do. Um, save them bad boys. Hey, I know you guys could, uh, could definitely use it. I could use it. Um, so anyway, I will have that to you guys. Uh, as soon as these last parts come in, um, I was told today. Um, but it wasn't today. I wasn't going to delay anything any further. I wanted to push this stuff out. So, uh, but it didn't come. So I'm going to have to hit them up and see where it is, uh, kind of in transition. But, uh, regardless guys, um, I do greatly appreciate you guys. Stay tuned. We are not done yet. Um, we still have a few more things to go and, uh, I'm, I'm sure you could probably guess what they are, uh, just based off of this video, uh, what they are. And again, guys, I will do a ride video as well um, here pretty soon. It's not going to be this weekend. Uh, this is the weekend. I've got family and stuff coming in town. Um, but I will get out there and I will get some footage and stuff and kind of give you guys a review on how it feels sitting taller with everything that's done to it, um, especially with, you know, the sprocket, you know, the tuner, the exhaust, as well as it's sitting higher. Uh, do I gain or lose anything? That kind of stuff. I'll keep you guys posted on it. But uh, anyway, guys, stick with us. I do greatly appreciate y'all, and uh, hey, we'll catch you on the next go-round. See you.